it's Erica Lee again, District 4, California. Just calling to, um, I'm not really calling, I guess I'm videotaping. I'd still like you to get um, Tom McClintock into your bracket. I know he's kind of boring. He, doesn't, he hasn't said anything super controversial. Um, you know, he, he hasn't really done much either. He, he did rename the post office in Granite Bay, a really wealthy community within uh, District 4. But um, instead of running on his own accomplishments, of which there are none, um, you know, he still continues to try and smear his candidates. We just had our jungle primary in California. And let me tell you, it was exciting because um, McClintock is bragging that he got over 55% of the vote. Well, really, he should have gotten a lot more considering how red our district is. And he had tried to divert attention away from the um, the more scary candidate, a moderate Republican from the district, career military, business owner, to the independent who was running, who had, didn't raise any money. And uh, it almost worked, but in the end, the moderate Republican uh, actually made it into the top two, thanks to California's jungle primary. So now um, all those votes that went to the independent are hopefully going to go to the moderate Republican who has promised to work with the other side and who is also socially liberal. So he's got people from all parties volunteering for him because they really want McClintock gone. Um, and let me just, rem I don't think I mentioned this before, but when McClintock ran back in 2008, he had been a state legislator forever. I mean, forever, really. Um, he's been in politics since his 20s. He's 50-something now. I think I mentioned before how unhandsome I think he is right now. But, um, so he promised not to take two pensions, and he's taking two pensions. He promised to move into the district. He still hasn't moved into the district, so, um, you know, let's just, let's keep working on getting McClintock out of there. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can find me on YouTube. Just leave me a message or a question. I'll gladly come on your show and talk about how much no one likes McClintock here. And uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Bye.